question that I've been getting a lot as I'm like dinking around the city today is, is your phone real? This is my purse today and there is an actual telephone attached to it or a receiver and then the phone is a telephone. I'm home from work and here is the bag in question. This is my Betsy Johnson telephone purse. The little Rilakkuma hand sanitizer because it is COVID and we gotta be clean. So here it is. It is silver with these pink like rotary phone-esque buttons. It closes with like this little turn clasp. This is the inside. There's my stuff in there. Super cute. Um, I'm definitely not going to carry it in the summertime because it is metallic. And if you can see, like, just off of the little light that I have for my video, it does reflect light. And I don't need it blinding people when the sun gets, like, higher in the sky. So I'm going to be carrying this for maybe a couple more weeks. Um, and then I'm going to switch it out. But everyone has been so curious about the phone receiver thing. I'm just going to call it a phone because you get it when I'm saying phone. I'm going to talk about this piece. I keep getting stopped in the city because people are like, is that a real phone? And I'm like, yes, it is. It is not just decorative. Um, it's not just the handle of my bag. This is an actual functioning receiver. So this bag is several years old and I will say that the receiver no longer rings. Here's the cord and here is the jack. And so basically it has right here pretty much the earpiece, the mouthpiece. This light will go off when it rings and then you press this button to pick up and hang up. On the side right here, these buttons are the volume buttons. So how it works, I know this is so dirty. <laughs> I swear I'm not gross. It's just it's gotten stained from like the black leather handle. So I'm recording this video on my phone so I can't actually show you a live demonstration, but this jack plugs into the headphone jack of my phone. And this pretty much, when it worked very many years ago, it would ring and you could pick up and be like, hello? Um, unfortunately, because my bag is so old and I think I got, I think it stopped working because I got caught in the rain with it once, but it no longer rings. However, if I do have a phone call, I can answer my phone by swiping the call and just go, hello, and pick up the phone and, you know, have the conversation. And once I'm done having a said phone conversation, I just press this button right here to end the call. And then I put my phone, I put the receiver back onto my bag. And then I have this little strappy button thing. And you clip it shut and it's a bag. And this I usually have shoved into the bag right here um, so it stays out of the way. A lot of people think that this is just for decoration, but nope, it's a functioning phone. And it's really cute too because when I'm out and I'm on a really long phone conversation, you know, like cell phones are really thin and going like this is really bad for you. So nice and chunky I get to kind of do it old school you remember like in the 90s well I'm actually older than that but you know you would kind of talk on the phone and then you would play with a cord and the cord would got all messed up and you would try to untangle it and it would do this thing where it's like never the same ever again so I'm really trying hard to keep this cord in relatively good condition I will say that this was like that when I bought the bag. No doubt from someone like in the store playing with it before I bought it, or maybe it's because this tiny piece of the cord right here is what hangs out of my bag and maybe like the wear and tear of me carrying the bag around has done something to it. 
But, you know, I just really like it. Like, look at how nostalgic this is. It's, like, amazing. Who has held, unless you work in an office, you haven't held a telephone receiver to your ear in years. Years. And this is, like, smartphone time. So this is kind of unheard of. And I just love the nostalgia that goes around with it. Everybody loves this bag, even if they don't come up to me and ask about it. Like I'll see people's faces and when I'm on the train, they'll be like, oh my God, look at her bag. So it's really great. Um, I kind of wish I got another color to be really honest. This receiver is white um, with these floral patterns, but if you are in person, you can see the yellowing through time. And again, because the strap is black it's rubbed off on the phone so like I said like right here and right here is where the black is rubbed off from the phone constantly touching the bag right here you can see it's black because of the color rubbing off and there's really nothing that I can do about it and when it's sitting in the bag you can't see it anyway except for when you use it you can see it and it just looks like dirty and gross and I don't clean it but I swear it's just age this was um I can't remember how many years ago this collection was but it was not recent so that's kind of why I love it because you know some people have never seen it before they didn't know this bag existed out of Betsy Johnson collection however I am an avid Betsy Johnson fan and I still buy her bags and I still have her bags in my closet and the best part about her designs are they're so quirky that you can buy something and put it away for a really long time and dig it out of your closet again and everybody loves it and that's kind of the appeal her things are always so much fun and even though you keep them for years and years and years and years when you kind of go out with them again everyone's like oh my god that's so awesome so anyway this is the end of my video about my telephone purse so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye